for today. I gotta eat a little bit of something before I got some work to do at six. But yeah, um, I mean, it's Persona, like for sure. Yeah, um, I'm enjoying it. What's really cool is I have, I have been a really good about like, I don't know anything about, I've, I've saved myself from a lot of spoilers. So I don't know a lot of stuff about this game. I, I haven't watched a lot of like, I knew I was gonna like this game. I knew I was gonna wanna play it. So I'm going in here really fresh. I don't know much of anything going on. The only thing I knew was that Tartarus is essentially the dungeon. Other than that, I didn't really know anything. So it's been a lot of cool. And again, my experience with Persona so far has been I've played Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, and I've played Tactica. Um, and I love those games. Persona 5 is one of my favorite games of all time. So I knew I was going to like this game, and I'm excited to be experiencing Persona 3 for the first time. So. All right, and here comes the people watching me again. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. With what? I guess that's true, but still. Because whatever you're doing, what made her put a gun to her head? Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> you're not going to believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. It's morphin' time! Right. Be careful. Akihiko! All right, get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Why am I awake? Oh. But thanks. Thanks. <laughs> A loud noise. Okay. Get a gun, but I need a sword. All right, we should talk about. Do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. Ah, let's beat its ass. Tutorial let's style. Go. If I went into yeah. the bathroom. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it wants to go <sighs> up.
They need to calm down. Getting to safety is our priority. Oh, it just like took me in here. My bad. Yeah, duh. My bad. Let's go. Oh, there's another floor. I'm stupid. Sorry. What was that? Don't tell me it got inside. That's what she said. It's getting closer. Stuck on a roof. <sighs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Huh? Oh, I mean, that'd be really good for later, though. Ooh. You can skip the cutscenes? That's a big deal, too. Jesus. It's here. <laughs> Wait. I love that alarm clock sound. Fucking go. <laughs> what? Orpheus doesn't look as cool as Arsene, but 
the lore behind like Orpheus the God, that's really cool. It's also a really big deal to the fraternity I was at in college, so that's kind of neat. What on earth was that? I do think Arsene looked cooler, though. Ooh, achievement. Awakened power. Is it Our over? First achievement. No! Eat. No! G get away from me! Mm. Shadows. Did they break off from that other one? That's cool. Um, I could probably just attack him. Yeah. The monsters are gone. And I'm dead tired. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Oh, say <laughs> I'm just a little tired. Hi. It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh. I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. I like that how the chair the kind of looks like the persona. Lunar. The manifestation of your psyche. Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. So that's Please confidants, remember essentially. This. Which I guess now, this came time, first, so confidants are social links, I get, world, but you know. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. But I'm sleeping. You will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Bye. Oh, God. Was I asleep for a whole week? You're awake. How do you feel? Goodness, you finally woke up! Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hmm. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. <laughs> just right no, into it. That power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. Hmm. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair. I'm glad that so makes I one of us. Wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. 
Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. Called it. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, we will find out more again. about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't Called have to it. go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Really? But still, sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I was waiting, <laughs> I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. It's not Anne. It's, um... I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're Makoto's okay. Makoto's voice actress. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Not today. Oh, welcome back. Don't push yourself, though. Don't want to get some rest. Don't worry. Your room's safe now. Um... So nice that that's instant. All right, I haven't saved yet, so let's um try to do that. That's instant. What are you gonna do at my desk? Man, the whole going to bed at gunpoint thing is like Persona's thing. Have a long time to see. Do you have an upset stomach? You know, <laughs> I got something to tell you. What happened? Get a load of this. Actually, wait. I'm not supposed to spill. Sorry, man. Forgot you. You forget you heard anything? Huh? Jeez. Full of energy today. I could hear you all the way from over there. Huh? You know, up there. The obligatory space over here. Huh? You don't? You didn't come to school together, even though you're in the same dorm. She's Are you mad at stupid me. or something? Oh, I've heard enough about that. Anyway, Gozen, Are you feeling any better? Sorry to hit you with so, with this so soon after you've recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? <laughs> so Destiny. Wakata. Wakata. Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? Drugs. It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on. We're going to be late if we just stand here talking. Can we call hey, it's this guy. That's enough talk about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. Well, that wraps it up for the Stone Age sigh. I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the... Shingoku area. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. You know what? That is the realest teacher shit I can I can ever explain to you. Most of the time what I am lecturing about, I I have like a little bit of interest in, but don't really care all that much, but there's like so let's say it's like a 12 unit or 12 week, eight unit thing. Probably about five of the units I like really dig and I have to get through a couple. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but you're paid to do it. So you gotta do it. Like I love history to rock. Like I'm teaching that course, but man, I have zero interest. And uh, I have very little interest in uh, like, talking about the British invasion for almost a whole month. It's super important. Don't get me wrong. The Beatles, of course, are super important, that whole thing. I, but we also don't talk at all about punk rock. And, like, we also don't talk at all about, um, about, like, 
garage rock coming back in the 2000s. Like, we don't talk about anything post, like, grunge. Like, grunge is, like, the last thing we talk about. And it gets, and, like, a lot of rock gets really good after that. But I don't know. Joe Mon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm. Goes in kun. The places where people dumped their waste in Joe Mon period. What are they called nowadays? Boneyards, middens, hovels. Um. Well. Boneyards, middens, hovels. Dumped their waste. Um, middens. Mm, Let's go! <laughs> Scandinavian in origin and means dunghill. Eh, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. This, you know, this guy's kind of cool. That teacher's kind of cool. Yeah, I like his bluntness. I like his... I'm bored, you know? Uh, hey. What's up? Wanna walk home together? <laughs> it might start rumors. Huh? Come on. There's no need to put on a brave face. What if you pass out again on the way home? I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. Hi. Right. I'd be so nice about it. Home safe. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Head up where? Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. Oh, duh. I already forgot. I'm glad she reminded me. Twilight fragment. I really want to get on this tutorial stage. Oh. Hey. All right, let's do it. Those stools have to be the least comfortable thing to sit on for a long period of time. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Sanada. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people simply aren't cognizant of. But the dark hour does exist, and it occurs each night at midnight. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them, those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? A 
Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. He's a loose cop who doesn't play by the rules. Are the specialized extracurricular execution squad. C's, for short. On paper, mm. we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. The Shadow. kun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. That's a good question. Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. <laughs> so, so this <laughs> or, or what can I? <laughs> I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Don't think too hard on it. Just hang out with us for a while. Please. We need your help. Well, since you said Wait, please, don't Bobby, pressure him I mean... like that. What if he feels like he can't say no? I mean, I'd like it if he joined too, but... Does that mean you accept? Oh, I was afraid you wouldn't do it. I'm glad to hear you're on board. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, there's they they uh huh, uh huh. There is something. There is something. A voice ringing inside my head. I am thou. Thou art I. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. With who? Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the fool archive. Seize the day. Well done. Well, that's all for today. I apologize for gathering you all here. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some. Well then, shall we end this meeting, brother? You know, the shall we end? Shall. Hi, how have you been? <laughs> I'm always by your side. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. It's the end of everything, but to be honest, I don't really know much about it. I feel like he's staring at my soul. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power, and what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, Yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? 
I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. Normal things. Yeah, day off. Hey, you in there? If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Hold on, I'm gonna have a phone call. I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know why that transition so but yeah here we go back at it man everybody's dressed all nice thanks for coming there's someone i want to introduce hey hurry up just a sec hey it's our homie junpei why are you here don't tell me this is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? <laughs> I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? So that's what he was talking about the other he night. He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I didn't really want to be doing this on my own. You gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. <laughs> well, enough with the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Ooh! Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> it's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour. You know what? Fair. 1,000% fair. The key. The chairman will give us more details Ugh. tomorrow night. And I so went into this completely ready. blind, too, so. Like, I didn't know the how they were going to evoke the personas. Like, I knew, I had an idea that the gun might be a thing. I didn't realize they were going to, you know, put it to the temple. Be stuck about fighting for justice. I ain't going to single clue of what we're supposed to be doing, but I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that that would explain everything. Ooh, I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. What are you doing here? Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. That talk, sir. Damn. Doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know? With the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan. Do I sense him hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't Sounds know. Sounds a lot like you don't like her. Okay, school days finally over. They're 
probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. <sighs> Finally made it. Can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. Been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This Whoa. apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! You better hurry! Run! Flee! Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Sir! It's small rocks! So many places to chow down! Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. No, yeah. so, after. All right, everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it! Now, I'd like your undivided attention. I just can't get over For these stools and how uncomfortable they look. Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had, but that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. I, uh, That's one hell of a responsibility. Yeah. But the heroes of justice will prevail. How much do we get paid for this? It's sir? also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. Your nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. Convenient <laughs> yeah, way to only I... have your four-person party. <laughs> Oh, Until you get your, got your rotation thing. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. <laughs> I'm not gonna do shit. At this point anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <laughs> You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring <sighs> it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Oh, there's a velvet room. Wow. Sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like... the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me! 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 Pick me! Ha! Huh. You're in charge. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. <laughs> Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can! Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? Let's do it. <laughs> That's the spirit. I want you to go over there. What's the matter? you to wield your, your power. power the tower that you are about to venture into how did it come to be for what purpose does it exist regrettably you are not yet capable of answering these questions that is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further you must understand the nature of your power Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and some of them at will. That? And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again. Are they gonna be like, hey, we're just like standing. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. I 
always like playing dumb with the oh, velvet room. Tell me, you're like that coach who fell us on, man. Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going. I do think, for now, I think we're going to call it on that.